And I'm Josh, I'm with Global Parts. Take a few minutes to just go over a basic AC system, just how it functions, how it operates. This is an Orifs tube accumulator setup. This is your compressor. This is your discharge line going to the condenser with the fan assembly. This is your liquid line. In this system, this is where the orifice tube is located because this is an orifice tube accumulator system. This is your evaporator. And this is your suction line going to your accumulator. And this is the suction line going back to the compressor. On this type of setup, what you have, refrigerant is compressed at the compressor. Um, it leaves the compressor as a hot gas, comes up through, runs through the condenser, um, the fan is pulling air across the condenser, pulling heat out of the refrigerant. So by the time the refrigerant comes out and goes into the liquid line, it's a hot liquid. Um, at this point, on this type of system, you have an orifice tube in this line. It could be anywhere in this line. Um, this one happens to be right in here. Uh, what happens here is the refrigerant goes from a hot liquid to a cold liquid. Um, that liquid then fills up this evaporator. You have cold refrigerant in the evaporator. You have your blower motor blowing over the cold evaporator, which absorbs the heat out of the air. This type is an expansion valve dryer system. The difference in here, you have a dryer in the liquid line to take any moisture out of the system. The difference between the dryer and the accumulator um, a dryer just basically has a desiccant in it that would take any moisture out of the system. Um, plus, it also has some filtering properties that would keep any debris uh, from moving throughout the system. Um, an accumulator has a desiccant in it as well. Uh, the difference in the accumulator is it's going to be in your suction line, uh, which is going to allow any liquid refrigerant um, more time to evaporate to a gas before it gets back to the compressor. On an orifice tube system, your orifice tube would be here. It is a fixed orifice. An expansion valve is set up to be able to open and close depending on the needs of the evaporator. You have your blower motor blowing the air over the evaporator. You have cool, dry air coming into the cabin. Uh, the refrigerant then leaves the evaporator and goes straight back to the compressor. For more tech tips, go to gpdtechtips.com.